Hi, it's Stephanie, and I wanted to take a minute and show you how to create a comic book-like character in PowerPoint 2010. Using its new artistic features or filters, you can create the effects that you're seeing here on the screen. So the original lady is uh, on the left-hand side, and then here she is treated with the cutout effect, and on the right-hand side she's treated with an effect called photocopy. So let me show you how to, how to do this. In PowerPoint, what you need to do is um, bring in the images you want to work with, obviously, and instead of, instead of choosing insert picture, what I did was I said insert shape instead. I drew a rectangle and right clicked, I filled it with the Im this image here, and that allows me to work with the transparency of the image uh, because that's available in uh, when you work with PowerPoint shapes. So that just gives me a little bit more flexibility, and you'll see that and uh, see the reason why in just a second. So we're going to work with the lady on the left first, and we're going to apply the cutout effect to her. And we need three copies of her to achieve this effect. The bottom copy, just right click on that bottom copy, and the format picture menu appears. With the bottom copy, I'm going to apply a blur effect. So under artistic effects on the right hand side, I'm going to choose, choose blur, and I'm going to strengthen that blur from 10 to 25, the radius. And then on the middle copy of the lady, I'm going to play with the color here. So I'm going to increase the saturation to 400%, increase the temperature to its maximum, and then I'm going to go to the fill menu and increase the transparency to 20%. So by having her as an object with the, or a fill within a PowerPoint object, I'm able to control the entire transparency of that image, allowing the blur from the background to come through. Now on the very top image of the lady, I'm going to work with the artistic effect of cutout. And by default it has a number of shades, or basically the detail of the, of the effect, at set at 2. I'm going to take this down to 0, which is going to create a fairly strong look here. And then I'm also going to go to the fill menu and increase the transparency of this top layer to 50%, allowing quite a bit of the color and the blur to come through. Final step is just to select all of those images and then choose Align Center and then Align Middle. And you get that effect. Now, on the, for the lady on the right, we're going to apply the photocopy effect instead. I just need two copies of her to do this. So on the bottom copy, uh, again, I'm choosing Format Picture, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Apply the artistic, uh, artistic effect of Blur, and I'm going to strengthen that blur up to 25%, or to a radius of 25 and for the top copy, I'm going to change the picture color, saturation up to 400%, color tone down to 59. I'm also going to sharpen the image a little bit, which allows a little bit more of the skin detail to come through once you apply the artistic effect of photocopy. So this effect comes in, and it comes in as a detail of three, which is pretty good. This is the effect here. It's pretty cool, actually. And then um, under the Fill menu, I'm just going to increase the transparency to 25% to allow a bit of that background blur to come through in the image. And once again, I'm going to align these images together. So those are the two effects. Now you can also bring these uh, images into scenes. So for example, the lady on the left where we did the cutout effect, here's the, her original picture in an actual photograph of an office. And then in PowerPoint, uh, I brought the treated version of her in, and then I treated the office image itself. I, I just applied the cutout effect and played with the transparency to create this look. I did the same kind of thing with the other woman, putting her in an office environment and then treating that environment um, with a crosshatch effect. So it creates this kind of look, and I did a little line and made it look like a comic book, speech bubbles. The last thing I did was I uh, I actually saved uh, an, an image of her, saved as, as a picture from PowerPoint, and I brought that picture into Crazy Talk, which allows me to animate, um, uh, facial animation basically, and you can see the result here. So I just inserted a web object, which is the output of Crazy Talk, and then you can see that um, she's actually talking. You, you probably can't hear her talking, but you can see her lips and her eyes move and she's talking. So you can actually create not only the comic book characters in PowerPoint, but you can further animate them and create flash files, uh, creating kind of avatars for your e-learning. So there you go, comic books, comic book characters in PowerPoint 2010.